Get ready for the big revival. The real estate revival, that is. Now on 77 WABC, your New York weekend. Are you ready for the big revival? It's Rand on Real Estate. Look out! With Greg Rand. Welcome to the Big Real Estate Revival. My name is Greg Rand. I'm your host on 77 WABC and WABCradio.com. Very excited to be here on a beautiful Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all you moms out there. There's a couple of special ones out there for me. My mom is out there someplace hopefully listening. Love you, Mom. Thanks for everything. And my beautiful wife, Leah. Happy Mother's Day to you also. And to everybody out there, this is one of my favorite days of the year. I'm not a mom, obviously. Um, But it's special because, you know... Nothing great ever happened in this world if a mom wasn't involved, you know? I don't just mean the obvious biological reason because nobody would be born otherwise, but anything great that ever happened, anything, any wonderful invention, any disease cured, man on the moon, no matter what it was, it took uh, somebody who was self-confident, inspired, motivated, intelligent. None of those things happen without a mom out there making sure the kids are raised right and everything. So it's a beautiful day. I'm glad the mom's got wonderful weather. Uh, I'm Greg Rand. This is Rand on Real Estate. We're going to talk all about creating wealth, securing your future using real estate. We're going to do something special this time. We have a new sponsor called Jacksonville Wealth Builders, a company who found me, and I was very happy they did. I spoke about their marketplace on the air, I guess, a couple of months ago and talked about them on TV. And they contacted me and told me what they do. Uh, And I think it's a service that I want to share with you today uh, because I think it fits for a lot of people in the listening audience most of the people, chances are you're within the New York metro area. You could be hearing us from anywhere in the world on WABCradio.com. But if you're in the New York area, it's kind of hard to spend $100,000 and buy a single-family home in New York, right? You can't get it for those kinds of prices. But there are opportunities all around the country. And my job, I make my living scouring the country for opportunities, analyzing markets, researching opportunities for clients of mine and for you folks in the listening audience. And... People a lot of times ask me, what's my favorite, you know? And I like a lot of them, believe me. There's a lot of places around this country that I think are phenomenal places to invest your capital. But every list has to have a number one, right? Every top 10 list has got to have a number one. And my number one is Jacksonville, Florida. And I'm going to tell you all about that again today. But we're going to approach today as a kind of a a learning session on exactly how to do it. Because a lot of the feedback that I get from this show, it's I really enjoy the feedback, the calls that I get from you all. And by the way, we'll take in your calls this hour at 800-848-WABC. That's 800-848-9222. The calls are great. The emails that I get after the shows are great. Um, but they, there's a common theme from a lot of the feedback, and that is, hey, Greg, we love the show, but you kind of leave us wanting more. You know, like you get us all motivated and psyched up, and we believe, but we don't know how to do it. We don't know how to go about it. And hearing about it for 45 minutes to an hour on the radio is great, but it's not actually tangible enough for us to take action. And that's what changes today. With, uh, with Jacksonville Wealth Builders and the analysis of Jacksonville, Florida, we're going to put you in a position where I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to research it and share with you how I research it. I'm going to tell you where to go to go do your own research because you know what? I don't want you taking my word for anything. I think this is, it's high time that we all become masters of our own you know, uh, destiny here. Uh, and so I'm going to show you where to go. I posted a bo- bunch of links on, um, on my website to share the research that I'm going to share with you today so you can see visually the kind of things that I'm talking about. But at the end of the day, I'm going to tell you exactly how to go about it. And in the, I think, second or third segment, we're actually going to talk about individual properties and what kind of numbers they produce in terms of returns. Now, I know what you're thinking. Don't touch that dial. I'm not going to talk a lot about numbers. I'm not going to bore you. I promise I'll make this fun and fast-paced. But I want you to come out of here saying, you know what, that's what I'm looking for, Greg. I'm looking for marching orders. I'm looking for something that I can actually do. Uh, And that's what we're going to focus on today. I'll tell you a little bit about Jacksonville Wealth Builders. They have a website called Investment Property Jacksonville. Investment Property Jacksonville, and you can reach them at 904-677-6777. I'll give that phone number out a couple of times this hour. They've got there a 16-page guide and an audio CD set they can send you for free to help you take this educational process one step further. So we'll revisit that a couple times this hour. Um, But here's, you know, let me start by, by kind of setting the stage here. The world is going crazy, right? And when the world goes crazy, people crave something they can control. They crave something stable. I remember back after 9-11, I was uh, running a real estate company with my brothers and my mom back then, and the real estate world froze, right? After 9-11, nobody was buying a house. So September, October, nobody bought a house. Um, I'm talking nationwide, the numbers just froze. People said, I'm sitting still and waiting to see 
you know, if another shoe is going to drop. They didn't know what to do. But by November, December, it's like the freeze thawed out. It was a very interesting phenomenon. You recall back then, the president and the mayor, they said, go out to dinner, you know, d- go out to the movies, get on that airplane and go on vacation. They told us that by living the lives we wanted to live, by following through on our dreams, we are fighting back in a way, right? And that includes buying a home. Now, if you recall, back then we were just a couple of years after the tech stock bubble. And so that was a fresh reminder of how wacky Wall Street is. A fresh reminder of how you can't trust those guys. I like them. I know a lot of them. They're nice guys. They don't mean to do any harm, but sometimes they do. They get all frothy and crazy over something. And then we had fresh examples back then about how you really can't park your money with with some of those guys because they might lose it on you. And I think we've just been treated to another fresh example of Wall Street gone amok. And we've got government running amok. And we've got, I mean, the world goes sideways. People crave something stable, something they can control, something they can rely on and sleep at night knowing it's going to be there when they wake up. And inevitably, a lot of people's minds turn to real estate because that is as tangible as it gets, right? And we also, we all know somebody out there. We all have our own Uncle Richie, all right? My Uncle Richie, who I really hope is listening out there. If not, I'll send him the audio. Uncle Richie lives in a community in Southwest Florida. It's a yacht club community. It's a golf course community, gated. He lives amongst rock stars, literally. One of the band members of ACDC lives in his neighborhood. And neurosurgeons and CEOs and everything else. Uncle Richie lives down there with people at the, you know, who have, who have really achieved phenomenal things in their life. And they live in this, this, this playland for grown-ups, right? Well, Uncle Richie was a fireman, all right? Probably the most admirable profession out there. But those guys aren't exactly overpaid, right? So... They are motivated by saving lives. They're the kind of people that I guess one day you realize that you're just brave enough to run into a fire, run into a burning building. So you become a fireman like my Uncle Richie, and you work for 20 or 30 years, whatever it is. He became a lieutenant in his firehouse in Staten Island. Um, but now he's retired in a place with rock stars. So how does that happen? Well, it happened because Uncle Richie bought houses along the way. That's what he did. He also saved well, and he was very responsible. But the thing that he did, the entrepreneurial thing that he did, that put him in a position to live amongst rock stars was buy houses in Brooklyn and Staten Island along the way. And it's beautiful because we all have an Uncle Richie. Maybe you're not related to one, but you know people who just picked up a couple of houses and sat on them forever, right? And then later on in life, they were paid off and you were living on income where you could sell them and cash them in. It's an amazing American success story. It doesn't really happen this way anyplace else in the world where you love your country, you know your country is growing in population, You know that your country is, even if it goes through a recession, you know it's going to recover because it always does because it's America, right? Well, buying pieces of it is, in my way of thinking, the greatest, most reliable way to retire wealthy. And the reason why I want to talk about retirement, and if you call today, I'd especially love to get calls from people who are thinking about real estate for retirement. Not so much. If you want to call and talk about buying and flipping, that's fine. But I'm really inspired and, and passionate about people talking about retirement. Why? Because it's a 20, 30 year endeavor, right? So there's no short term, you know, get rich quick, short attention span nonsense in that strategy. It's all about something 10 or 20 or maybe even 30 or 40 years away. And you're automatically going to have patience. We're going to talk about using your IRA. Did you know you can use your IRA to buy real estate? Well, you can. Don't ask your financial advisor because he or she will tell you you can't, but they're wrong. You can. So My motivation here today, and what we're going to talk about starting right after this next break, is specifically how I picked my favorite market in the country, how you can get comfortable in that market, and how you can actually execute that plan. So stay with us. You're listening to Rand on Real Estate on 77WABC, brought to you by Jacksonville Wealth Builders. Back in a moment. 